Hi all the tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. So have you ever faced the challenge of expanding internet access to a remote location? Maybe a cozy cabin in the woods, a research station, or a railroad home. Well, today in this video, we're diving into the world of point-to-point -point fiber optic network setup, a reliable solution for such scenarios. And also, we will offer free system design just for you. If you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with a solution that tailored for your specific need. Now, fiber optic cables are the gold standard for high-speed internet. They're in mill to electromagnetic interference, offer higher bandwidth, and are perfect for long distances without losing signal quality. But the question is, how do you choose the right setup? And there are mainly two types of fiber optic installation. You can directly bury them under the ground or you can pull the cable through a conduit. That brings out our two types of fiber optic cable, the direct burial fiber optic cable and the indoor outdoor types. Now the direct burial cables are rugged. They can be buried directly without a conduit thanks to their protective layers, armor jacket, and water blocking components. And on the flip side, while indoor and outdoor cables are versatile and easier to handle, they require a conduit for outdoor installation, protecting them from environmental factors. So choosing which one is actually depending on your installation environment. And next, let's move over to the demonstration board and make a connection using the direct burial fiber optic cables. So here we are behind me is the setup for today. We are going to connect this router point to point directly over to that router using this direct burial 100 meters fiber optic cable. And you may wonder, what about those? What are those little compact devices for and why are they here? So first up, let's talk about the fiber media converter. Now, since the router itself cannot be connected to the fiber optic cable directly, so this device are here to convert the fiber optic signal to an Ethernet connection, making it compatible with the standard network equipment. And next, we can see the little SFP modules. Now, there are small and hot swappable devices that providing the interface for the fiber optic cable to connect with the media converter. Now, they're available in various data rate capacities, such as 1 gigabit per second, 10 gigabit per second, or even higher. Now, today we are using the BD SFP module, and they're designed to use a single fiber string for both sending and receiving data, supporting a single mode LC connector to match with our direct burial fiber optic cable. And it is critical to select an SFP module that matches your network. So without saying, let's do it together. So let's begin it with this router here. We are going to plug in the Ethernet cable for the Internet SS and then use another short patch cord to connect to this router all the way here to this media converter. It has already been powered up. So I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable from the router just like this, so we can convert the electrical signal into the fiber optic signal. This is the SFP transceiver. This is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. We are going to insert it into the media converter, just like this. This is a two string pre-made fiber optic cable. Let's use string one, plug it in here, easy. This is 100 meters fiber optic cable and you can see this direct burial fiber optic cable has a really hard and thick jacket so it can protect the fiber optic cable. Over here we are going to do the exact same thing. Plug in the SFP transceiver and the fiber optic cable. Make sure you choose the right one. We are using string 1. Don't mess it up. And let's connect the short patch cord to this media converter all the way to this wireless access point to provide the internet access. 
To sum it up, a fiber optic network with the direct burial cables offer reliability, simplexities, and cost efficiency for remote internet setup. Whether it is a direct burial or conduit-based approach, both can ensure a high-speed, robust connection to even the most out-of-the-way location. But remember, while handle direct burial coupled cables, even though they're tough, proper trunching is the key. Aim for 40 to 50 meters deep to protect it from surface activities. Also, pull the fiber optic cable from both ends to avoid giving too much pressure on the cable. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insight. And until next time, stay connected.